Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade, and today I'm going to talk all about quilting cotton. Can you use quilting cotton to make clothing? What is the difference between quilting cotton and apparel cotton? Those are two different types of fabrics. Are there sewing patterns made for quilting cotton? So we are going to dive into these questions and I'm going to give you tons and tons of information all about quilting cotton and using it for clothing. First off, what is quilting cotton fabric? So it is a fabric that the fibers, that's like the makeup of the fabric, like the, the details of the thread, is made out of 100% cotton fibers that is wound into, you know, threads that then is woven into the fabric. Quilting cotton fabric has a basic weave, which means all of the threads go over, under, over, under, over, under, you know, both ways. There's um, other fabrics where it's woven, where it's, it's skipping some, or it's going in a diagonal, and that is not how quilting cotton is. It is a big, basic weave, so it looks the same all the way across. It looks the same looking from both directions or from side to side. Usually quilting cotton is a, like a medium weight fabric. Sometimes I have seen some companies do a really lightweight quilting cotton. It really depends on the brand and the fabric you are purchasing. Quilting cotton usually has a lot of body and not a lot of drape. It is very comfortable to wear because it is 100% cotton but it doesn't have a beautiful drape and it kind of sticks away from your body. Quilting cotton tends to hold its shape even after being washed, so it works well for clothing that needs a little body, bags that need a little body. Usually quilting cotton is used to make quilts and quilters love it. It's easy to work with. Um, it washes up beautifully. It's comfortable. I mean, cotton is a pretty magical fabric. Quilting cotton comes in every color and every print imaginable. It is probably the most common fabric you would find and you can find anything printed or any color on quilting cotton. So quilting cotton, if you find it in a solid color, that means that the threads were dyed before it was woven and um, then you can easily put that fabric on grain. When fabric is printed, like this one, it sometimes can be ten it sometimes can be printed off grain where the fabric was stretched slightly while it was being printed, which means um, if you have something like stripes or plaid and it's printed on the fabric, you can tell if it's printed because it's a lighter color on the back and it's brighter on the front. If it's a stripe or a plaid and it's off grain, you you can never get that fabric to be on grain and look right with the stripes. So either you have to cut along the stripes and your fabric will twist or hang weird, or you cut it on grain and your stripes will, you know, look off. So there are some things to watch for when you are looking for quilting cotton since stripes are really hard to um, print nicely and on grain. Quilting cotton versus apparel cotton. There are lots of apparel fabrics that are 100% cotton, just like quilting cotton. And they are often plain weaves, which means they seem very similar. When you are looking at them, they seem almost the same. So quilting cotton is a very beginner friendly fabric because it doesn't stretch. Um, it has a tiny bit of give but it's very simple and easy to work with. And it's often much easier to use than apparel cotton, but apparel cotton is easier to use than other apparel fabrics. It just might have a little more give. It might stretch more on the bias. Usually apparel cotton fabric is much lighter weight than quilting cotton. It's more of a lightweight fabric. Think of a chambray or a all. Those are a much lighter fabric and they're a little bit harder to work with. The thing about quilting cotton is that it wrinkles very easily. Cotton wrinkles easily, 
not as easily as linen, but it still wrinkles really easily. And even apparel, cotton fabrics wrinkle easily, but not as easily as quilting cotton. Can you see? This has kind of been bunched up in my um, cabinet of fabrics, and you can see that it is wrinkled, and the wrinkles stay, you know, it's not going to fall out as you wear it during the day. The wrinkles will just maybe get worse as you wear it. So if you use quilting cotton, you will have to iron it every time you wear it and it will get wrinkled during the day. The one thing to keep in mind about quilting cotton is that it comes only 44 inches wide. Apparel cotton usually comes um, 50 to 60 inches wide depending on um, what it is. So you are more limited in quilting cotton because you don't get that extra, um, you know, 12 to 20 inches on the edge. So you're actually getting less fabric when you buy a yard of quilting cotton versus buying a yard of apparel cotton. So the main difference between apparel cotton and quilting cotton is that quilting cotton is a heavier fabric. It holds body, so it does well with um, you know, stiff gathers or pleats. It does well in a, a silhouette that needs body. Apparel cotton has a softer drape and a softer fabric. It's a lighter weight fabric and it, um, it will, you know, kind of fall along your body more than sticking away from your body. Quilting cotton will wrinkle way more than apparel cotton but they're both very comfortable to wear because they are made out of cotton, which is great for um, hot summer temperatures. The question is, can I use quilting cotton to make clothing? The short answer is yes. The long answer is it depends and let me talk about it. You can make your clothing out of whatever you want. It's really your preference and what you like and what you like to wear. If you're a beginner and you want to start with beginner fabrics, it's a great place to start. You can get all the prints and colors in quilting cotton that you can't get in apparel cotton. But quilting cotton tends to look homemade quicker than apparel cotton because you don't find clothing that you buy at the store made out of quilting cotton. You usually see it out of apparel cotton. So it does have a different look to it that you wouldn't find if you're buying it at the store. But some people like people, but some people like others to know that they made their clothing and they don't mind that it looks homemade. I'm not saying homemade in a derogatory way. I'm saying it as it looks different than what you buy at the store because I make all my clothes and I don't mind that people know that I know how to sew and I sew all my own clothing. It does not work well if you need a dressier item because it it doesn't have any sheen to it. Um, it's kind of a matte color. It wrinkles easily. It looks very casual and it comes across as casual when you're wearing it. Often quilting cotton is made with a print that is a much smaller scale than what you find at the store because it's made to be cut up into a quilt. So the pieces are, so the print is small because it needs to fit, you know, in a small quilted square so people can see what it is. Usually when you buy something at the store, the scale of the prints are much larger because you're not sewing something, your body is not 2D and this size. Your body is, you know, as big as you are and it's 3D, it has angles and curves and shapes. And so the print is much larger so it can go around your whole body and it can look like it's the scale to fit your large body versus a small scale to fit, you know, a tiny square. So that's something to keep in mind. Sometimes you can find quilting cotton that is a large scale print and that would work better for your body versus a really small scale. But I've also seen ready to wear clothing where you know it's tiny polka dots or it's tiny floral. So this isn't a you have to always sew a large scale print. It's just something to keep in mind. Do you want it to look like you bought it at the store or do you want it to just be what you want and what you love and you don't care 
if someone thinks you bought it or made it. As long as the pattern, the sewing pattern you are working with recommends a medium weight woven cotton fabric, that is where you could replace the recommendations with a quilting cotton fabric. Let's talk about how to make quilting cotton work for clothing and apparel. First, this is important, very, very important because it's different than quilting. Quilters will buy quilting cotton and they will not wash it. They will cut it up, they will sew it, make it into a quilt, finish it, and then they will wash it and it kind of you know shrinks up and gets that crinkly quilted look. If you are sewing apparel, you need to wash your quilting cotton first before you cut it and sew it because it does shrink. I am in the habit that I wash all of my fabrics the second I get home. I throw it in the wash before I use it. I wash it and I dry it. I treat it the way I would treat it as if it were a garment and I wash and dry almost I wash on hot almost all of my clothing because I don't like to baby my laundry. That's just how I am. You need to get all of that shrinkage out of the fabric before you cut into it. So I do recommend washing it on hot and drying it even if you are not going to dry it after because you want to get all of that shrinking gone. You don't want any shrinking after you've cut the pattern pieces and sewn it together. The worst thing is making something and then you wash it and it's too short or too thin and it just doesn't fit you anymore because that has happened to me. When you are sewing quilting cotton, you use a regular universal sewing machine needle in size 80, 12. It's important to stay stitch all of your curves and angles and anything cut on the bias because quilting cotton is easy to work with but it does tend to stretch when it's not on the grain or the cross grain. So that is something to be aware of that you do want to stay stitch it to keep it the right size and shape as you're working with it and sewing it. Quilting cotton does need a lightweight interfacing whenever you have something like buttonholes or a placket or a collar, a waistband, a facing, all of those things will need interfacing. You can't use quilting cotton unless you use interface. While you are sewing, make sure you press all your seams, cotton, presses beautifully it's so it just takes so well to the heat and the steam so press all of those seams either open or to one side depending on what the pattern recommends when i am doing a hem with quilting cotton i actually like to use interfacing or like a hem tape in my hem and that helps prevent this happening where the fabric even a hem is rolling up and getting all wrinkled at the hem the interfacing will help keep that hem stable and it will help prevent more ironing that you'll have to do. One thing about quilting cotton is that it can get maybe a little stiff. It is very breathable and it's comfortable well, comfortable to wear, but it can get maybe a little scratchy or something sometimes. So if your quilting cotton is scratchy and irritating, you can soften quilting cotton. I mean, you can do it over time where you wash it lots and lots of times and you dry it and you just, you know, you do that 50 times and it will um, slowly soften that fabric. But another way to do it is to first pre-wash it and dry it just like I said you should do. You can also soak the fabric in fabric softener or conditioner. I've tried both and it works. It does make the fabric much softer, but it usually will wash out after that initial soak. I also like to use wool dryer balls in my dryer when I'm tumbling it because it really kind of pounds the fabric and makes it a lot softer than if I were to dry it or hang dry it without those um, dryer balls. Where do you buy quilting cotton? Honestly, you can get it at any big box store. You can get it and there are tons of stores on Etsy and online. It's like the most, it is the easiest fabric to find anywhere, online or in person. It's everywhere. It's, you can walk in any fabric store and that is what they have the most of is quilting cotton in all prints and colors. I do, 
If I fall in love with a certain print, I like to search for that fabric on Etsy and I can compare a lot of different shops selling that fabric to see which is the cheapest price. It's usually very similar in price, but sometimes I want a certain fabric and I can't find it anywhere except for an Etsy shop. And so I found a lot of luck doing that. Buying brand name quilting cotton. There is a lot of big names out there that sell quilting cotton, but it can get pretty expensive, the you know fabric by the yard. So other ways that are cheaper is to maybe only buy solids. Solids can be cheaper. Find the brands that are cheaper than the more expensive brands. You can also use 100% um, cotton curtains, sheets, um, duvet covers. There's a lot of home goods that is made from 100% cotton that will work very similar to quilting cotton and it's maybe cheaper. You can also check the thrift store. I thrift fabric a lot and this is actually thrifted quilting cotton and I find quilting cotton almost every time I go to the thrift store to look for fabric. Um, but there's also sheets and pillowcases and duvet covers and curtains. There's lots of that at the thrift store. Just make sure it's 100% cotton so you know you're getting something similar to quilting cotton and you can use it like quilting cotton. My favorite items to make out of quilting cotton are pencil skirts. Those work really well if you get the fit right. You can get a very comfortable cotton skirt with a beautiful print. I also like to make full skirts, so I'm talking about like a pleated skirt or a gathered skirt. Those do really well in quilting cotton and they hold the shape and the body like they're supposed to. I also like making fit and flare dresses or like a pencil dress. Those work very well with quilting cotton. You just have to make sure that you have the fit perfect or you know the quilting cotton might show off that you don't have the fit that perfect. Fit and flare are a little bit easier because you fit the bodice and then you don't have to fit anything below the waist. If you are making anything with quilting cotton that is fitted, you will have to use either a zipper or snaps or buttons and buttonholes because you need it to um, you need to be able to open something to put it on and then you know close it back up to be able to wear it. I also like to make woven tees or tanks because that works really well with quilting cotton and usually it's a fit that you can slide it over your head and then you don't have to do any closures. I also, one of my favorite things to do with quilting cotton is make button up shirts. For women, I do button up shirts with a dart, but I make my son up button up shirts with quilting cotton and you can get really fun prints. I've also used quilting cotton for jacket linings. I don't use it as the sleeve because I want my sleeves to be really slippery, but I've used it as, you know, the body lining and it makes the jacket a little bit warmer, but it's still breathable, so it's really comfortable to use. And when I'm only doing, you know, the lining of a jacket, you don't need that much fabric, so I can often use, you know, a yard or something. Also, like making pajamas out of quilting cotton, it's great to do that for the kids or for me or for my husband. I usually just do pajama pants, but I've also done, you know, like a fitted, you know, like a button up pajama top. I also, I use quilting cotton for pocket linings and facings and anything that's maybe on the inside and you don't see, then I like to use quilting cotton because I know it's sturdy, it will hold up well and you won't see it. You know, it's kind of like a fun pop of color to put on the inside. I also make aprons, that's really great. I make aprons for my kids and I've made aprons for me. Another thing that works well is like shorts for women or kids. Those do really well when made out of quilting cotton. Whenever I have small pieces of quilting cotton left over, I will cut it into bias tape strips to use as bias binding. And then I can either use it on the inside of a garment or on the edge of a quilt. I wanna know, do you like using quilting cotton to make clothing? Do you like it? Do you like to wear quilting cotton? Do you like to sew with it? Does it make you feel good when you wear it? Do you love all of the prints? I wanna know, please let me know in the comments. 
If you've made something out of quilting cotton for apparel, please let me know. Maybe there's something I could add to this list and let other people know what is a great thing that they can make with quilting cotton. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day.